we've been trying hard to do some regular talk where we're not always raising our hands to have things to say. But now I want some people to come up here and share some of what they heard their partners say. And I'm wondering about just our regular talk. If we don't if we don't raise our hands and we just use regular talk for coming up here to share, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. We we are going to take well we're going to take turns like 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 someone starts to talk. For example, what if Mariana was start, was talking mm -hmm. and she was all done? Then then what then all then we could have talked, but we could have taken turns like Marion and then other and then all the other kids could do it too. Okay. But yeah. they're not interrupting like like Mary Mariana's talking then they're talking and they're saying, Hey, you're talking while I'm talking. That's right, so they know when to stop. So you need to talk when someone's done. Like if Sarah was talking yeah. to Dana and then uh and then they were all done, and then I started talking. And then they had another idea, and then they started shouting out when I was um, talking. And then if you keep doing that, then p other people in the class will think that it's still, that it's okay. So then everyone would just start shouting out. Okay, but then you see, I'm thinking of this one because Usually when we come up and we share for this kind of math talk and people come up to share, they're not just talking at the carpet. What else are they going to be doing? Leaving our hands like this, yeah. but um, we're not going to do that a lot anymore. Only like when we're at Mr. Caruso's and his dad and at health and stuff. Okay, but usually when we're doing this kind of math talk, we're not just talking for Talking Tuesdays, people also usually want to come up to the smart board and they want to like circle and write some of their ideas, right? And show them what, and show people what they, what, the, what they're talking about so they know what they mean, what they mean. Right, and can we have everybody up at the smart board at the same time? No, no that's then. why you have to tell the teacher. Like if, see how I'm just here? Yeah. Then maybe Jean will come up and then everyone else will think that it's okay. And then they everyone comes out and then comes up and then what if someone gets squished? They could get hurt. So how are we gonna just how are we gonna make sure that we don't have ten people up here at the smart board at the same time? What could we do? What could we do? I don't know we can do you want us workshop? Well, this seems like a possible plan, but we don't have the list yet, so how am and I going to know? I have a today? great idea, and it's kind of like Sarah's. Like we, you tell everyone if you have a, if they have a question for something, and you write their name down on a piece of paper with a clipboard, and then when it's time for the time, then you can just... Work on the list and then you say, and you read which one is first. And then it would say that it's first, that um, like if Dana was first or, and then Dibia and then Jordan and then me and then Cody. And so no one could just, so you don't, so no one can raise their hands because usually 
um, we're all tired raising our hands for the longest time. Okay, so since we don't have the list yet, I guess we'll have to see how this goes for today. I could make could. one when I get home. Okay, and but for today we have to figure out who's going to start, so I wonder how that's going to work. I guess we'll have to see how this goes.